This is all kind of messed up. Unfortunately, I noticed that she has a lot of infertile eggs. Now, we're gonna go play with the big lizards. <laughs> This one's going to have all kinds of craziness. We're going to start off with babies, then we're going to pull a clutch, and then we're going to feed giant lizard. Check it out. <clears throat> so these eggs are hatching, and they've actually already hatched, and most of them are ready to come out. So I'm going to pull some of them out. I, we actually assist cutted some of them because we wanted to make sure none drowned, and actually we saved one of their lives when we did. And the whole idea that why we do them is to, protect, to actually help them keep from drowning in the egg because what can happen is they start hatching and they can have all kinds of different problems. So this is a golden child. And uh, is that a regular golden child, Tim? Platinum. Oh, platinum gold. I forgot we have platinum in here. And we have spe a special gene. What is it, Tim? It's the first time we bred them? Yeah, the marble gene. The marble gene. So that's gonna, we're gonna have some snakes that actually have a special pattern on their back. That's another platinum, I guess, huh? Yeah, so we're gonna pull this clutch that clutch is completely normal. So there's another one ready. So this one just got ready. See, so that was part of their belka cord, but it sucked in all of its, all of its goodies. Whoa, boy, when you ever wonder if snakes are slimy, they're really slimy, but they're only slimy because they're hatching. So let's see here. Now there's, that's a probably maybe a marble. Yeah, this is a marble. So that's a marble golden, I think. Hmm, maybe not. So I'm gonna say it's not. We gotta find a couple real quick. Oh, that's not one. So this is for sure a marble. I think this is the one, Tim, I wanted to show you. So this one here was having, this is actually the one we saved. And uh, I can tell, you see it's got a really, this is all kind of messed up. I can see that it's kind of like, I'm gonna take it out because I don't want to, it, the whole snake's off color but it, it, it was choking on some on a, its actual stuff inside of the egg. This one actually was having problems. So you see this snake? I guarantee you we saved this one. See that? Yep. So that would have prevented it from hatching correctly and it probably would have not made it. Now, now the fact that we assisted it, it's gonna make it. It's a beautiful snake. And we're gonna go ahead and set this one up separately. You wanna take them, Tim? Yep. And that is a golden child marble. So look at this one. Now that one's ready to come out. So there's a there's a golden child marble. That's a beautiful snake right there. That's a platinum. <clears throat> that one looks like it's probably got the other gene, but not 100% sure. I'm looking for one really cool looking snake. I don't know where he's at. Because we're pulling that clutch of eggs, we're gonna actually have food. I've seen some infertiles, maybe, maybe a lot of infertiles. But the good news is, is those big monitors behind me will absolutely be ready to just chow on. And that's the one I was looking for. Look at the neck on that snake, is that crazy? Check this out, Tim. <clears throat> it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually our best one in the clutch, I think. Let's pull this clutch of eggs. There we go. This girl's usually really mellow. And uh, unfortunately, I noticed that she has a lot of infertile eggs. Infertile eggs are pointy and they're hard. This one's already started to dry out. I'm gonna put these infertile eggs in the bucket. Tim was telling me that she had had a problem last year, and I'm pretty sure that, and the good news is now everything's out, but look at this strange that's, thing she did. That's, yeah, that's, that's probably literally some stuff from oh, last yeah, year. Exactly. So this is why she probably didn't do good this year, but the good news is now it's all out of her. She's done good before in the past, this mom. She's still a sweetheart, despite the fact that she's sitting on eggs. She's one of our multi, multi-generations offspring. And uh, there we go. And I'm gonna pass on that, that is a mess. Now, we're gonna go play with the big lizards. Okay, so first of all, we got Fabio out. Fabio! You can't hear me, but it sounds good. You want one of those? You want one of these? Come on. Why'd you back up, huh? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Come on, Fabio. Oh boy, you were lazy this morning. I'm gonna have to get your little brother out. He'll show you. He goes, yeah, that's why he's my little brother. <laughs> Cause I already did all that work. Huh? Okay, oh, 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 oh. Here. Oh, 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 come on. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get his little brother out. Talking about animals that like, to, like their enclosures. He's up there kicking back. 
And sometimes he gets lazy and won't even come out because he doesn't he doesn't really want to leave his enclosure. Come on. I'm gonna give you one just to remember how good they taste. Hopefully, maybe these ones don't taste as good. <laughs> They're a little bit slimy. Come on. You may bring your teeth bleed when you bit on it. They're so hard, huh? Oh! <laughs> He'll like the flavor now more. Okay. Come on, you want another one? Whoa! Jeez! Yep, he liked the flavor, I guess. <laughs> now the funny thing is, even though they're brothers, they actually would fight, but we would never let them fight. Come here. He's like, no, uh -uh, I don't want to come out. Ugh. He's literally locking his tail around because he loves his house. Because he feels safe in there, but having him out, he won't mind it as soon as he's out and gets fed. Okay, there you go. So he's really, really, really mellow. You see, he likes to actually cut them so he gets to enjoy the flavor. He's really cool. <laughs> oh, that was good, huh? Come on. What are, you, what are you so lazy for? Come on. Oh. There he goes. He's scared it's gonna fall, so he's scared to let go of it. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. You wanna get your own egg? Pick your own egg, which one you want? Five, four, three, two. Oh man, it's a good thing he can count or he was gonna get cheated out of his egg. What we got here is actually a Philippine, and he actually, this is one of the only very rare animal in their shop, because this animal originated actually in the Philippines years ago, and we got him through a, a breeder who was retiring him, so we decided that he was so beautiful that we thought we would love to have him. Look at that, he's, he's ready to. Now, he might have eaten, he's in the wild. Amazingly enough, he may have eaten, he may have eaten a few reticulated pythons, he could have eaten young crocodiles, all kinds of things, because out in the wild, things are crazy. Oh, look at that, and look how shark's teeth are. He's been the only one that just, without any problem at all, just made it made the egg leak all over the place. Look at that, he's happy, he was enjoying it. There you go. So these, he really likes his eggs. Go ahead. Pretty awesome. When they fight, they literally stand straight up and grab each other. Are you done? Okay, here you go. Here. So he's actually starting to react to that one. So you can see these two look like brothers, but the funny part is this is from a different year. So this one here <clears throat> came from the same mother and the same father, but they were about a year apart, year and a half apart. And uh, then they both have unbelievable dispositions. <laughs> look at him looking over here. He's just like, What's going on there? I don't recognize him. And I don't know if they know they're brothers or not. Because, you know, they're like I said, they're brothers from a different time. So I can tell he's a little bit nervous. He sees that big male and he's wondering what's going on. You can see they're almost, they look very similar to each other. Except this one's just smaller. He actually fed that one a lot. <laughs> he, know, he knows he's bigger. He don't want no part of him. I was wondering how long this guy is. Come here. I don't have any food. I'll get you one. I have one more egg. Let's see. Let's just see how long he is. Whoa, now you're all of a sudden waking up. You heard the sushi bell go off in your... So I'm trying to figure out how long he really is. But I'm pretty sure he's quite a bit longer than me. Come on. Yeah, so he's a lot longer than me. Look at that. Nowhere near, he's like, wow, how long is he? I got another egg, we'll try one more time to see if we can figure how long he is. So I'm five foot 11 inches, five foot 10. He must be like seven feet, maybe more. Come on. 
Come on, you gotta show everybody how long you are. Get the tail straight. Come on. There you go. Our heads are aligned. Oh, I look down there. Oh, oh. Kinda got it, but he was way beyond me. I live in the green, guys. Prehistoric pet style. Jay, prehistoric pet style.